Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and recently I did a square theory on which is worse, boring episodes or frustrating episodes. In it, I mentioned that that sinking feeling is one of the most boring episodes of the series, but I also used another example of an episode that I think really, really exemplifies how bad a boring episode of Spongebob can be, especially when it's a TV movie. Of course, I'm talking about Atlantis Square Panis. Let's see what I said in the initial review. Start off with the slowest moving song in Spongebob history, and it only uh, gets- no, stop. Please stop. I can't bear to listen to this one more time. I really regret making this. I am awful at singing, and I apologize to every single person who's had to hear it. Let's hear the actual review of Atlantis that I cleverly snuck in later in the Season 5 video. This entire thing is an incredibly frustrating viewing experience. What makes this thing completely unbearable to watch is that it's like they took four Scumbob episodes and mashed them all together into one giant thing with some incredibly awkward and out of place patchy segments in between. Although this thing actually promises to have some sort of a plot, and in the beginning it seems like they're going to try to, it literally is nothing but songs and ripping off Willy Wonka. And the songs range from unbelievably bad to just kind of mediocre. And when you put a ton of things of that quality back to back to back with very little to no story in between or comedy, you get one really boring TV movie. Another thing that makes this worse than some of the other stuff in this season is that there isn't even any sort of shock value. It's not like an episode like To Love a Patty where, yes, it's horrible, but there's at least some sort of curiosity with it. If I tell you there's an episode where Spongebob dates a Krabby Patty, you're gonna wanna see it just to know firsthand how bad and creepy the entire thing is. This was just boring and a gigantic waste of time. Before I really dive in here, I want to point out that I am not going to be talking about the patchy segments in this video, as I've already done so in this video specifically, so watch that if you want to hear my feelings on that. I mentioned it in my song about the episode, but I think it is really worth talking about the opening song of this musical, where Spongebob and Patrick sing about how much they really want a bubble that lasts. The song itself is slow, and so low energy, and while there is definitely a place for songs like that, it is not, I repeat, not, the song you want to use to open up your big musical 44 minute episode. The opening song sets the tone for what you're about to see. So when it starts off with a really slow, low energy song, it doesn't really psych you up or get you excited for the episode. It's just kind of a sad, unintentional warning that this episode is gonna be really slow and drawn out. And it's weird because SpongeBob is known for having its high energy, upbeat, exciting, crazy, weird, silly song. Songs. So to have it be this, I mean, it's fitting, but it's only fitting because the rest of the episode is as boring and dry as this musical number. Say what you will about Truth or Square, and yeah, I do say a lot of things about that TV movie, but at least it starts off with a high energy, high excitement, actually fun song that really does psych you up for what you're about to see. If the opening song of Atlantis was better and more fast paced and exciting, it certainly wouldn't fix the whole episode, but it could help make it seem at least a little bit more exciting. So here's the big problem. The story of Atlantis Square Panis takes place over the course of like six or seven minutes, and yet the special is 44 minutes long. Now, of course, about 10 minutes of that could be attributed to the patchy stuff, but the rest of it is a bunch of music numbers that ultimately have no effect on anything whatsoever. To the point where you could literally cut out Squidward and Mr. Krabs from the episode and nothing at all all would change, and Sandy only serves the purpose of helping Spongebob and Patrick escape in the end, and Plankton only serves the purpose of becoming the new treasurer of Atlantis. And aside from those minor contributions, those two characters are worthless here too. Spongebob and Patrick want to see a bubble that lasts for a long time so they can take a picture of it. They find half of an Atlantis medallion, which allows them to travel to Atlantis, where they find a bubble that's been around for a long time, take a picture of it, accidentally destroying it, and get chased out of Atlantis. That is the story, and that is 
something that could have been 11 minutes long as this episode was originally planned to be. And that probably would have been perfectly fine. I mean, I don't know. As with a lot of SpongeBob stuff, the devil is in the details there on whether or not that would have had comedy or exactly how they told that story. But in terms of this, this is just filled with a lot of pointlessness. And it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for two things. First of all, it's incredibly formulaic. Once they get to Atlantis, for about 10 minutes, all you're gonna get is character finds their room with things that they like. They sing about it, followed by the next character, followed by the next character, followed by the next character. Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Blankton, and Sandy all get one of these. These songs do nothing to progress the plot, and they don't have any sort of depth or interesting thing. It's just character sings about something they love, and... That's it. And it's not like I'm oversimplifying this. No, like literally, they go from room to room singing about something they love. There's very brief dialogue in the hallway in between and nothing else to break up these songs. And the second big problem is that these songs are pretty bad, especially for SpongeBob standards. Forced rhymes, characters that don't ordinarily sing for good reason, like Sandy and Mr. Krabs. Though, of course, given the right song, both of them can shine. And as I said previously, flat, boring subject material. Also, each song and a few other elements like the bus feature different styles and forms of animation, which in any other show or episode would have come off as impressive, but in this one, what they do just isn't very great especially when it's paired with the bad songs and general boredom of the episode. And if the point here was to showcase these songs and this animation, they really should have done a better job on that. Oh, and what about the comedy? As in, where on earth is the comedy in this episode? I guess if you find bad rhymes to be funny, then maybe you'll laugh at this episode, but otherwise, for 44 minutes, it is very light on the comedy, and the only joke I can remember is Spongebob singing out of key at one point. As I hinted at in that Square Theory video, when I used to think back on this episode, I would think, you know, maybe I was too harsh on it giving it a scum bob. Isn't it just a cute little fun episode that's kind of sort of like Willy Wonka and has a few little nifty songs? But every time I rewatch it, I prove myself wrong. And I dare anyone that defends this episode to go back and actually rewatch it. If you genuinely like it, that's perfectly fine, but I guarantee there's at least going to be a few people that remember it as a lot better than it actually is. And I say that as someone who fell for that trap himself. And that's the problem with the boring episodes. They don't get called out as much as they should just because people don't really remember how bad and boring they are. Also, this episode gets trumped by Truth or Square, which I'm not quite sure if it's as boring as this episode, but between the boring and the frustrating elements of Truth or Square, that one makes for a much worse and much easier and interesting to talk about TV movie than Atlantis Square Pantis. In terms of positives, there's one thing that I liked, and that's pretty much it. It was Sandy using Spongebob, Mr. Krabs, Patrick, and Squidward as weapons and defenses against the Atlanteans. It was creative and fun, and we finally got some actual action and conflict going on in the episode. Unfortunately, it's incredibly brief, and it comes so late into the episode that my mind is already checked out, and there's no redeeming it. I want to also talk about the fact that this episode seems like it should be something a lot bigger, grander, and more epic than it actually ends up being. You have Plankton talking about how he wants to take these really impressive weapons, and the fact that the late David Bowie is in this episode. That, plus the royal music and the different atmosphere, you would think Spongebob and the gang going to Atlantis could be a big, grand, fun adventure that maybe could even be on par with the Spongebob movie. But nope. It's nothing like that. Instead, you get the lamest version of Willy Wonka with some really lazy sounding songs that is so incredibly light on story and comedy. I have such a hard time making it through this episode, and for this review, I actually skipped the patchy stuff when rewatching, and I still found it to be really long and boring. This is very clearly one of those gimmicky episodes that was not made because people had good ideas for a good story and good comedy and stuff like that. No, this was very clearly made as a gimmick for Nickelodeon. Oh, and get a load of this fun fact. This is a quote by Tom Kenny when discussing the episode. Notice how he says, 
our little basic cable budget. The $8 billion Spongebob franchise still has a ranky little budget. Oh, and of course this TV movie got them 8.8 .8 million viewers on first airing, which for a kid's show is quite a lot. And I can tell you, I watched this episode around the time when it first came out, and it was definitely one of the contributing factors in my deciding to stop watching this series. The episode is a flop. It's, it's just a big flop. And ordinarily, I don't get this upset at a Spongebob episode, but it's 44 freaking minutes of my life that I've spent multiple times watching for these videos. And while it's certainly worth it, as long as you guys enjoy the content, it is my least favorite episode in the first five seasons to sit through. Even worse than Spongehenge. I'm so glad they don't make TV movies anymore. Pie Guy Rules, out.